So a couple weeks ago, I went out shopping for food to cook a normal set of meals for what is maybe the first time in my adult life. I've shopped lots of times for Thanksgiving or Christmas, but never for just like a normal meal. My wife and I have shopped. We've done it lots of times, but I don't think I've ever done it on my own other than pre-prepared foods like grabbing some pasta and sauce. So this is a new experience for me. So after using Blue Apron as my source of ingredients for five weeks, this was an experiment to see how cooking for myself from scratch, as it were, would actually work out. And I learned a lot from the experience. So the first thing I learned is just how hard it is to shop for two people in a grocery store. Nothing comes in the size appropriate for two people for one meal. It's a huge benefit of Blue Apron over shopping at a grocery store. If you're cooking for two people, you're not actually leaving tons of food behind like you do if you're buying from a grocery store. For one of my meals, for example, I needed half a pound of cabbage to make a coleslaw. The options that I had for the size of cabbage were two pounds or three pounds. Neither one of these really works for a half pound meal. And sure, if you're going to go and make a bunch of stuff with uh, cabbage, then that's fine. You don't have a problem if you can cook up a bunch of other things or you know other things you can do with cabbage, but my repertoire extends to about six recipes at the moment. I don't have the ability to make other things with cabbage. The other example is when I was attempting to buy ground beef. The recipe called for 10 ounces of ground beef to add to a pasta dish. My available sizes of ground beef were one and a quarter pounds or two and a half pounds. Neither one of those works very well for a two person meal, not when it's primarily a pasta dish. I realized that if you're making burgers, one and a quarter pounds is probably fine. The one that ended up getting me in the most trouble though was not the ground beef, but the chicken breasts. I couldn't find any package with two chicken breasts, which is not that surprising. So I grabbed a package of what I thought was four chicken breasts, figuring I'd just have enough for leftovers. The problem is that the chicken I bought was not, in fact, four chicken breasts. Instead, they were thin-sliced chicken breasts, where each breast was extremely thin, and what looked like four chicken breasts was actually eight. So now, in prepping a meal for two people, I had eight chicken breasts. I couldn't even fit them all in my pan at the same time. With extremely thin chicken breasts, you also get very different cooking time, which then screw up the rest of my meal prep as well. Anytime you try to go shopping in a new grocery store, there's also a huge learning curve in learning where all the ingredients are. While I've been to the grocery store I used for this experiment before and I had a general idea of the layout, there's still a lot of the more specific items that I had trouble with, things like rice vinegar or even the prepackaged gnocchi. I prepared a list going in, separated into things like produce, meat, and carbs, and spices to try and get a decent ordering, but ended up spending a bunch of my time wandering back and forth trying to find the right spot to pick up various items. For example, when I was in the rice vinegar aisle, I walked back and forth and back and forth and back and forth just trying to find that one rice vinegar along a whole aisle of vinegars, not realizing it was above my eye level, it was above my head. In total, shopping for ingredients for these two meals took 29 minutes from the first item until I checked out of the grocery store. If I were to shop for the same ingredients again, I expect that time would probably be cut in half. I now have an idea of where the specific items that I wanted were, but I expect it would take a lot more trips before I could generalize those skills and have an idea of where the layout is. And while I happen to know where the rice vinegar is now, that doesn't expand to knowing where I could find a basic gravy mix. I do think these are things that I can learn, and my hope is that by the end of the year, I can make grocery shopping a more routine activity that I can perform without so much searching. One of the reasons I was interested in trying to shop for myself, though, was to compare the cost of Blue Apron's meals to the cost of shopping at a grocery store. I've always known that Blue Apron is more expensive than shopping for yourself, but was curious what the difference in price really was. Now, this is complicated by the fact that it was impossible for me to buy the same size food items for a two-person meal. Obviously, comparing my price for Blue Apron for two people to the price for cooking for four is not really reasonable. And Blue Apron's cost per serving is much higher in a two-person, two-meals weekly box than any other option. Just to give you a sense, if you do choose Blue Apron, there are two meal kits for two people for two meals a week, so that's four total servings. The cost is $12 a serving, $10 a serving for the four total meals, and $8 per week for shipping. This is the baseline I was comparing to, so for two meals, it was a $48 purchase. Now, initially, when costing out how much this grocery store run was going to cost me, I was concerned it was actually going to be more expensive than that. Using the website for the delivery from this grocery store, I selected the necessary ingredients and came out to a total cost pre-delivery charge of $53 to purchase the necessary ingredients. I don't know how much the delivery would be because it was my first purchase, and so they didn't actually show that to me. 
Now, for whatever reason, shopping in person resulted in a cheaper result. I'm not actually sure why. Maybe there's something I forgot or didn't pick up, although I cooked the meals and didn't have a problem. Uh, or there's a per item upcharge in the online ordering system that isn't made public. But regardless, even with the portion sizes for four people instead of two, my total cost for ingredients ended up at 4673 But instead of food for two people, as I planned it, it was four people and... As I said, with plenty of extras, I still have two and a half pounds of cabbage in my, or one and a half pounds of cabbage in my fridge. Um, now, some of the cost of cooking meals this way is also obviously better shared across multiple meals. So, for example, the rice vinegar I bought will likely last for months, and the Thai garlic chili sauce can be reused for future meals as well. Um, but even without crediting these items forward, the per person cost was much lower. But... The other thing to keep in mind is that it was not actually a lot cheaper overall. Uh, $12 per serving is not what I was paying, but I was still paying about the same amount of money. So if you are just shopping for two meals for two people and are not going to reuse things from week to week, the difference in price is actually not a lot. I came out ahead, but not very far ahead. So from a pure dollars per serving standpoint, I ended up paying about $6 per serving, but if I was only feeding two people, I still would have been at about $12 per serving. Now, for the time being, I'm going to continue to use Blue Apron for to build up more new skills, uh, especially as we move out of the winter months into the more spring and se summer seasonal dishes. I'm still routinely learning how to prep new pastas, deal with new veggies, and mix new flavors. And given how time-consuming shopping is for me currently, it's well worth the convenience. Currently, shopping is a time-consuming and tiring experience. Making a list, checking it twice, and scrambling through the grocery stores to find the items I need is stressful. Continuing to do it will likely result in a better understanding of the layout of the store and where to find things, as well as a better stockpile of ingredients that I can have and reuse, and being able to make a quick run through the store to grab staples I need to prepare a few basic meals feels like a good goal to have for later in the year. In the meantime, I'm sticking with Blue Apron.